In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple, easy, and effective way to get your website ranked higher on Google and also how to add these titles. For example, um, this is a title uh, for this website. So if you go to this website, this way up here, if you look on the top of this browser, that's the title. So if you want that to come up on Google for your website, that title, and then also a description right here, then this is the video for you. So you always want a good title in the description because you want to tell people who are searching for you on Google what you are, like what you're doing or who you are, and then a little dis short description about like who, what you do right here. And then all these other links, if you start getting popular and whatnot, start coming up here based on what links within your website are popular. And that's later on. So let's get started and let me show you how you could do this with the Tesseract theme. The other thing I want to mention is you want to keep your titles and descriptions short and to the point. And uh, Google recommends that you keep your title uh, under 55 characters. If it's over that, it will start bleeding in and going dot, 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 if that makes sense. The other thing is you want to keep your descriptions under 160 characters. And uh, Apple did a really good job. They like to keep stuff really simple and clean and stuff. But as you can see, let's go back to maybe another site. One second, let me find it. For example, this site, Price Vister, is just a company that does uh, faucets and whatnot. You'll see that it goes dot, dot, dot. So you don't really want it cut off. You want people to read your whole description to front to end, you know, start to end. So keep your titles and descriptions, uh, title under 55 characters and your description under 60 characters. When we do that, just keep that in mind as a reference point. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log in to your theme in your dashboard like this into WordPress. And then you want to go to plugins. We're going to go ahead and add a new plugin. Click on add new, just like that. The next thing you want to do is you want to search for Yoast SEO. That's Y-O-A-S-T SEO. And you do that by going right here in this little search box. And this is going to search the plugins that are on um, WordPress. And plugins are little things that get added to your WordPress to help it function better and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and search Yoast SEO. <clears throat> and it looks like this one came up first. Um, so let's use that one. That's a really good uh, thing. And I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like first. I'm going to click on this. It'll pop up and it'll give you a little description of what it does. It helps with these titles and it helps you know if your pages are ranking well or will rank well or, or will do well uh, for the keywords and descriptions and so on like this for your website. So this is a really good site for not only SEO, search engine optimization, but also it helps you keep track of your titles and your descriptions and it helps you manage that a little bit better. So let's get started by clicking install now. Do that and go ahead and click activate plugin just like that all right and that's it that's how you activate that plugin and you'll see it down here right there and you're probably wondering well now what do i do where do i go well what you do is you go to the pages just like this and let's say you want to edit this page and edit the title and the description of this page well then you just go down here to to this area right here and this is what's coming up right now the title and the description and you could edit this just by clicking these edit buttons right here see that you could just click over this so instead of it saying home tesseract theme I could put anything else and then here's the description and I could put any description here now there's more video tutorials on this that we offer and if you're interested in that, just let us know. I'll even put a link below so you could get more access to more in-depth details. But what I would focus on is each page making sure, like here's a sample page that we have, that we have the title and the description. That's, more, that's most important. 
that's relevant to each page. So make sure those titles and descriptions are edited correctly. And then that will show up on Google as the title and description like we showed you, like I just showed you on the other sites. And of course, after you're done, press update and that will save the new title and description that you added. Okay, I will talk to you later. I hope this video was very helpful.